The Dr. Hila Liman Technical University, formerly known as the War Polytechnic, right from its establishment almost two decades ago as a diploma awarded institution, had a myriad of challenges. Most of the premises used for its establishment were either borrowed or rented, despite the high number of students enrolled. With an increase in student population over the years, government saw the need to not only relocate the university to a new permanent site, but construct lecture halls and also residence for the students. As a result, this giant magnificent edifice that contains several lecture halls, conference rooms, and other ancillary facilities were constructed. Students and lecturers at the university for now have no worries or concerns about their lecture halls. However, they have concerns about the construction of a hostel facility which has been abandoned by the contractor and now overtaken by weeds. The Dr. Helen Liman Technical University is the only technical university in the country that has not gotten a hostel facility of their own. The Ghana Education Trust Fund, Get Fund, several years ago started this project to ease the accommodation burden of students. It's been over 15 years since the project was started and it has not been completed. Vice Chancellor of the Dr. Helen Liman Technical University, Professor Elias Nota Konde Depsole, noted that the lack of a hostel facility for the university over the years has not only affected the enrollment of students, but made enrolled students to miss the complete university learning environment as well. Some people cannot come here because, in fact, some people don't even want to stay in private uh, uh, places. They want to be in official university accommodation. And you see, as a university student, there is also a culture uh, in the university halls of residence, which is part of the learning. You know, it, that's the social bit, where you network more with your colleagues, you, you learn other things. So I feel that uh, some of our students are missing that aspect. With the exception of students who are from WA, most of the 1,835 students now rent rooms outside the university campus. Commercial vehicles do not ply the route, and as a result, they either attend lectures, either on motorbikes, or walk for at least two kilometers to the campus. Professor Elias Nota said his biggest priority is to get the hostel project complete for the university. He is therefore appealing to the government and other benevolent organizations to help in that regard. Well, I, I find it very strange for a university like this not to have a, a hostel facility. I understand the only uh, hostel project that was started stalled on the way. I'm sure you all know the stretch I'm talking about. Uh, so, um, so that will be high on my agenda. I'll try as much as I can, of course, with the support of anybody who can help us to get a hostel built. Uh, I'm sure that um, we'll get that done. Uh, I, can, I can say by the grace of God, there should be a hostel here before my tenure ends. This project, if it is completed, will easily accommodate all students of the university. But the way things are, it appears that dream is flamed out. Reporting for the news, Rafik Salam. Wah!